So we are going to look at the number one buy list. I have looked at other buy lists and I don't think they are even close to the Card Kingdom price. I think the Card Kingdom price is very high. And it's not even that high. So I think a lot of people are losing a lot of money. Now why do I look at buy list instead of eBay? Again, a million times over again. The person selling on eBay probably has 5,000 eBay reviews. The person selling on TCG Player has 50,000 five-star reviews. It is very, very difficult for you to get a good price on a platform which is based on ratings when you are a Timmy and you don't have much, uh, many reviews, right? The majority of the Timmys buying these Rudy boxes are people who don't know how to sell. And they don't have a selling platform. Therefore, they need to offload them somehow. And the only way they know how to offload them is via buy list. So what I'm suggesting is the majority of Rudy's patrons have no idea how to sell a few pallets of a card or a booster box because they never sold so. And that would make a lot of sense if you think about it, right? That's why some of these patrons are selling basically via a very, very bad buy list back to alpha investments, right? Um, so that's where all these boxes are heading. They're heading via buy list. And these are among the, I think this is the absolute collapse. I mean, you're talking about $50 a box for boxes that have been around for 10 years. Return to Ravnica is $80 a box. Awful investment. Holy moly, that was a bad investment. Now, one thing that I do want to kind of highlight and one I want you to understand is, yes, uh, buy list is liquidity. And liquidity is very important right now. Because it doesn't matter what you can get on eBay. You know, no one talks about shipping or fees, right? No one's interested. You know, you're taking it. I, I remember Rudy talking about taxes. Oh, gosh, you got to include taxes on it. Whatever, you don't get paid taxes when you sell. You you pay the government taxes. Like, what the hell are we talking about? Like, it's it's interesting that um he's always talking about buying the cards, right? That's why he's talking about taxes, uh, as opposed to selling the cards where you wouldn't consider taxes. That's something that your customer pays. So I do think that in terms of um what is happening here is he's never actually phrased um the conversation to be about how to sell the conversation is always how to buy but there's a big difference buying right where you pay taxes and a very big difference when you sell where you you technically don't pay taxes until if you made a profit capital tax but um you you sell and you pay ebay or tcg player fees you pay shipping fees, you pay if it's free shipping, which a lot of these cards are being sold for free shipping. And you're out money. You are out money, you're out storage, you're out time, you're out, uh, you have to ship it. You spend, maybe you have to hire an employee to help you. Uh, these are all costs that are kind of not calculated ever in Rudy's calculations. And I find that a little bizarre to incredibly bizarre that somebody who is a financial guru or expert is refusing to calculate what would be expenses, right, for running a business. So many times um, when you look at the buy list price, it is probably the best price for many people. If you have 10, 14, you can see that the limits are very low. They had limits at 20 last week or two weeks ago. And now the limits are dropping as people are fire selling for basically, not, I mean, core 2019, 50 bucks cash, limit nine. War of the Sparks 70, I think is very generous. I saw it on David Adams for like $100. This, I, even, I think it's 100 now. Is it $100 now or 110? It's something like that. But then you get free Inuyasha cards. <laughs> so maybe I'll pick some up. I don't know. Um, but. What I'm suggesting here should be really, really obvious to you is these things didn't go up in price and the liquidity. Like how, like, is there a single video where like you, it, they explain how you sell this stuff? Like how do you sell an eBay? How do you start an eBay store? How much um, time you need to really build up the reviews and so on? I don't think so because I think they only want you to buy, right? Only want you to buy, 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 buy. 
no one is wanting you to sell. Yo, I'm looking on, yeah, so I'm on, so Ikoria is $100 a box right now. No limit, and there's nobody buying it. Uh, War of the Spark is 110 a box on David Adams, so 70 is not bad, guys. It's Kaldenheim, holy shit, man, is 80 85 dollars a box. Um, that did, I guess, that set did very poorly. I forgot about that set. Strixhaven, which also did poorly, is 80 dollars a box right now. No limit, none of these have limits. They, they don't care, they want you to buy all, man. They want, this is the first sale price. Magic the Gathering Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. $75 a box. Commander, oh, here's Commander Masters. $225 a box. 100% remaining after a few days. No limit per customer. Uh, here is the Magic the Gathering Adventures in the Forgotten Realms collector booster box for $125. Here is the set booster for $80. Mm, I mean, some of this Pokemon stuff looks good. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'll buy some of the, uh, some of the entertainment stuff. But this stuff is not. There, there's no. So okay. So there's limits when you buy, when you want to sell, right? On every buy list. But there's no limits on David Adams when you want to buy this shit. Like, is that not like the clearest indicator that something is like really, really wrong, guys? That like, hey, Rudy, wake up, wake up. You know, people are selling them with at very good prices, in my personal opinion. And uh, you get double gifts. I, I got to get my Inuyasha. I actually called them to see if I could buy their Inuyasha out. And they said no. So, uh, F me, right? Um, so, I just had to keep buying $199 of stuff to get the actual item I want. It, it's, like, really stupid. It, it's so stupid, but I have to do it. So, I had to buy exactly $200 of stuff to get the double gifts so I can get two Inuyasha packs. So I need to find something, and obviously the, the things are not very good. I may, maybe I buy some magic. It, magic is so cheap right now; it's, you know, it's it's just embarrassing. So like, I could get two boxes of. Yeah, I need to hit two hundred. No, no, I need to hit I, well, just one ninety nine. So ninety nine. No, ninety nine is not enough. I need ninety nine point like fifty. Okay, so I can get. I can. Oh, so Caldenheim is not going to do it. I, I was actually going to buy, and Strixhaven is not going to do it. It's too cheap. The boxes are too cheap. Uh, Lord of the Rings set. Would that do it? Um, Commander of Masters box will do it. Um, where this Forgotten Realms. Oh, hell it. My, my efforts. I'm going to just buy Pokemon. Because <laughs> I don't think any of the magic stuff is going to uh, matter. Maybe I'll buy some Yu-Gi-Oh. Maybe some Marvel cards. What do you guys think about Marvel cards? Fortnite cards. Top of Chrome. So I like these Eternal. I saw the Eternals movie. It was pretty good. The Shang Chi movie was pretty good. It wasn't like it wasn't great. Okay, let's just say that it was good for a movie with Asian characters. Um, so I, I probably want to collect that. Um, in my opinion, Overwatch League I, is that dead? Anyway, guys, let me find something to buy so I can get some Inuyasha packs.